Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This is Snout. The footage that you're seeing on the screen right now is a game called Snout. This is a game that came out for free a little while ago, midway through last year to be specific. Snout is a free to play on Steam arcade snake like thing, uh, which also has this added in little interesting detail called you're also playing Breakout. Yeah, it's Snake Out, Snake Out, Breakout. See where I'm coming from? This is a little game that, like I said, I downloaded and I've played kind of an upsetting amount of time in. I've put probably close to 15 hours into it at the point of recording. I've had some pretty decent scores. At, the, at this point, my best one is 101. You can try and beat it if you like. As I said, the game is free, but the developer recently put out an announcement that immediately made me kind of sad. They're ending development. We'll not be adding any more patches or updates. However, alongside of that, they also released Snout 2 shortly, roughly a year, eight months to a year after the original game came out. Snout 2 is Snout, but with some added features. We have a bunch of different modes to unlock, which are unlocked by playing the game. And we also have, just like the first game, you collect coins, and in those coins, you can go into the extras menu and unlock new hats and tails for your snake. Of course, if you do not like the look of the game, there's a lot of different color palettes available to you as well. Now. We're going to get into Snout real quick, and I'm going to talk about the gameplay itself. The gameplay is pretty simple on the face of it. You are a snake, and there is a ball. There are blocks around the edges, and you hit them. The coins don't actually matter all that much, as they don't really change your score. However, the coins are a persistent unlockable that lets you unlock hats and tails, which is very important. Then you proceed to go around bouncing your ball off of your snake to uh, break all of the blocks around the edge. The game is extremely satisfying with its sounds. There is screen shake, but I have it disabled for this video because quite frankly, I hate this stuff. And it's just a very, very, very satisfying arcade game loop. I'm not great at it. As you can see, my highest score at the time of recording is 85. Uh, we almost beat it in this video, but not quite. Uh, I will, however, try my best to get up those leaderboards and get a little bit higher. Not a lot of people playing this game, so I would love to see you guys try and beat my score. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of throw it out there as like a, a little teaser thing. Like, come on, you can beat my score. You can do that. But is this game worth playing? Well, for me, I really enjoy little arcade games, and some of my favorites in the past are things like Beer Tapper and Tetris. So I've definitely played my fair number of hours. In fact, I look over at my 3DS here and I see, and I know for a fact that I have both Dr. Mario and Game Boy Tetris with probably about a thousand hours of time played in each. I love these kinds of arcadey, like single short gameplay session games that I can just sit down and play in between other things while I'm just doing stuff around the apartment or finishing up streaming or even uh, cooking dinner. Jump down, play a game, go back over, check on my onions, come back over, play a game, go back over, check on my onions. If this is something that speaks to you. If you look at this gameplay loop and goes, man, that's satisfying. If you're listening to these jammy tunes in the background, I very wholeheartedly recommend Snout, especially because I'm just looking for more people to compete against on the leaderboards. Game's five bucks on Steam, very cheap, nice little arcade game at a solid price. But if you're concerned and you think, mm, maybe this isn't for me, I recommend trying the original Stout. Snout. It plays great for what it is, a little bit harder to get into. I think that the visuals and the kind of stuttery nature of the original game are a little bit harder to learn. Uh, the sequel is easier to pick up due to its extra polish and general shine around the edge, so there is that. But if you want a taste, try Snout. If you like Snout, pick up Snout too and compete with me on the leaderboards. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more like it, uh, you can go over to this YouTube channel. And if you like this format, let me know in the comments section. This is kind of a new thing for me. Also, if you want to support this video, you can do that on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.